Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with the edit. This is our weekly roundup of new sewing pattern releases. I hope you've had a lovely week, feeling a bit rested after the long weekend and ready to hear about some new patterns. We've got some really nice things to talk to you about this week. We, I, have got some really nice things to talk to you about this week and um, I'm gonna get started. So the first pattern we've got is from French Navy and it's called the Golden Rod Dress and I am really in love with this. I think this is such a great pattern. So PDF only, obviously there is copy shop printing available if you cannot be bothered to stick all the pieces of paper together, because who can, um, especially with dresses, I think, because it's just too, it's too many things to stick together. So sizing on this, it comes in a UK six to 34. It's so great. So there are two variations. You can either choose between buttons down the front or no buttons, that's a sort of change. There is um, princess seams on the front of the dress. It's got this gorgeous, which is it's sort of its kind of core feature, this gorgeous square neckline. The thing that I think really makes it special is that the, that neckline is mirrored on the back and it's, I just think it's beautiful. The other thing I like is that it doesn't come too far down on the back so you can still wear a bra and have no issues. Um, it's got lovely little puff sleeves. There is elasticated hem at the cuff of the sleeve and it sits sort of kind of mid arm. Um, and then the skirt is slightly flared. It's got a little bit of gathering in it, not too much. And then there are pockets, crucially. And it's just great, isn't it? I just think it's gorgeous. I love the length of it. Obviously you could change it depending on, you know, what you wanted. But I think it's such a great pattern. I think it's something that you you could make a summer dress out of this. You could wear it. You could make it for an event like a wedding. It'd be a perfect dress to wear to a wedding. I just think it's gorgeous. So if you're looking for like a nice summer dress, then definitely check this one out. The next one we've got is another one for French Navy. It's called the Roscoe Sweater. And this also comes in sizes UK 6 to 34, also available as a PDF only. I really liked this. So if you're looking for like a jumper, obviously we are at the tail end of summer now. We're moving into sort of transitional bit where you're kind of wearing a bit of your summer stuff, a bit of your winter stuff. I thought this would be a really nice, it's a nice layering option. It's got interesting seam lines, this pattern. So let me show you the line drawing. Zip up the front. It's a pullover kind of style, not like hoodie because obviously there isn't a hood, but kind of pullover style jumper. This zip up the front. It's got this interesting seam that cuts across the top, kind of a, slightly just above your bust. Um, and that's obviously so you can get the zip in. There are also seam lines kind of midway across the shoulder point. So there's quite a lot of cool things you could do. You can see that they've done, had like had a play with different types of fabric and color blocking. Um, there's also a sort of, I think they call it like a kangaroo style pocket on the front, which is optional. Um, and it's just, I just think it's a really lovely pattern and a really useful one. I really like the, that they've got that um, elasticated um, hem as well on it, which I think kind of cinches it in. And they've got kind of proper cuffs on the sleeve as well. So that is there if you're thinking you need a layering piece. I've got two patterns from Sew Over It. So the first one is the Emily Top. Um, this comes in sizes UK 6 to 30. Um, very simple kind of V-neck, well, actually kind of round, round neck or V-neck top. The thing that is quite nice about it, so it's got darts on the bust. It's got this very slightly curved um, hem at the bottom, which I think is really flattering and it's slightly longer at the back. There are different variations. So you can either make it V-neck or round neck. And there's also a ruffle option that you can add on there, which I think is really nice. So you could make a plain version to have as just like a normal day top, but with a little ruffle, I think you could wear that as like on a night out. Um, so it's quite a good beginner pattern as well, because I think you make it plain to start off with and then add the ruffle when you're feeling a bit more confident. So yeah, that one is from them. The second one, and it's quite nice because it's actually an outfit that you can wear together, is the Kira shorts. These come in sizes UK 6 to 30, PDF only for this and also PDF only for the last one. So they're a proper pair of tailored shorts. Um, I really like the, sh the shape on the leg. They're kind of not really tight, but they're not really loose. They're kind of mid-level cut. 
they've got little pleats at the front which I think are really flattering um, so they almost look like a um, a chino at the front the thing that is makes them great for me is that at the back they don't they've got elastic at the back it doesn't run the full length of the short around the back which I personally don't like it's there's just two little like sections of it within the waistband which is really great because it will give you loads of movement make it really comfortable for you to wear but it basically doesn't do that thing where it because it hasn't got it right where your where your bottom crack is it doesn't do that thing because if you are blessed with a large bottom like I am if you have elastic at the back my bottom munches my shorts and this I think would stop that happening so if you have been blessed with a large bottom like me this this will not happen with these shorts I think so anyway <laughs> you've learned a lovely thing about me today um so that is that from so over it then we have got this gorgeous top, the So DIY Eva top and dress. This comes in sizes UK 4 to 30, and there are different bus cup options for this. So there's an AB cup, a CD cup, and an EF cup as well, which is really fantastic. There are quite a few, it's a very simple pattern, but there are quite a few iterations that, of it that I feel like it feels quite good value. So it's got a square neckline, you can make, this is the first option that we're showing you, and you can make it sort of cropped. The, it, the detail for this is all going on at the back. You can see that it's got this um, gathered panel that you then has this kind of um, almost like corset style fastening at the back that you can tighten as you need, but you actually have that little row of elastic above it that kind of is actually holding you in properly. So there's that version. The next version has a sort of peplum on it, so you can add that on the bottom, and that makes it sit a little bit longer, and it feels a little bit more sort of peasant style top, which I I love that sort of style, and I think they've made it in a sort of ditzy floral. It feels quite romantic. And then there's a version that you can make it, it as a dress, and you can do that hat in different variations. You can either have it as a straight panel, but you can also add a layer of um, gathering as well. So there's quite a lot going on with this pattern. Unfortunately, there isn't a line drawing with it, so I can't show you that, which is a, a bit frustrating. Um, but I hope you can get an idea of what's going on from the pictures. So next up, we have got a coat, which is quite exciting because I feel like the seasons are now starting to change and I love it when they start releasing coat patterns because I'm like, winter is coming, need to think about coats. Um, so this is a Selma coat from Barra Studio. It comes in sizes UK 6 to 20. I really like this. It's a sort of oversized tailored coat. It's, if you look at the line drawing, you can see it's slightly cocoon shape. Um, which I love. It's single breasted. It's got a dart, I mean, a kind of slit at the back. It's got drop shoulders. So it's kind of tailored, but it's quite relaxed in its sort of shape and styling and finish. It's fully lined um, and it's got welt pockets as well, which are kind of classic of this sort of style of coat. But yeah, if you're thinking sort of oversized cozy coat, this is definitely worth having a look at if you're thinking about making a coat for winter. And if we start now, it might actually be finished, you know, in time for when it really happens. So next up, just a public service announcement. We have had a drop of patterns from Vogue and there are actually some really nice ones in there. So I'm just going to talk about a couple of them. So the V1951. Um, I think it's so beautiful. I don't know if anyone's seen this yet. It's got these great sort of cut out details. Let me show you the line drawing so you can see what's going on. It's actually quite simple, I think, construction wise, but it looks really complex as a pattern. So you can see that it's got these two front panels and then the skirt panel. And it's basically this bit, one bit of string that kind of loops all the way through and holds the whole thing together to make it into one piece. Um, the back has like this open back as well. I just, I really like it because it looks, to me, this feels like quite a comfortable dressy outfit. Obviously the bra situation is more, more tricky in this. You'd have to wear one of those sort of stick on ones, but um, I just, yeah, it's gorgeous. And it's a, a Rachel Comey one and she, I just love all of her designs that she does for, for Vogue. They're just beautiful. And then this really fab take it feels quite vintage. It's like a, vi a mix of a vintage dress and a shirt dress for me. The Vogue 1950. It's double breasted. It's 
We've got this belt detail. It almost feels a bit like a trench coat as well. It just, it's so elegant. Um, and this one is just great. So if you're looking for something that's a, for an event that feels a bit more structured and tailored, this one is definitely worth having a look at. I love the collar on it. Um, it's, it's beautiful. And then we've also had a drop of Butterick patterns as well. So if you are looking for something and definitely go and have a look because there's some really nice summer dresses in this, um, some co ord outfits and some really cute kids stuff. So if you are looking for something, definitely go and have a look. So that is it from me this week. I hope that was helpful and you found something nice to sew and I will be back soon with another video. Bye.